Hey everyone, I wanted to teach you a really simple method. I call it the wanna feel better method. This is something that I do on a regular basis. Anytime I'm feeling an emotion that I know is bringing me down to a lower vibration, my own personal goal is to always be aware of where I'm at vibrationally and how I can slightly raise my vibration. And the way that we do that, the way that we raise our vibration is through our thoughts, through our beliefs. And I've been talking all about that. I've talked about the emotional vibration scale. The analogy that I really love to use is the sunglasses. I imagine that each emotion that we experience is as if we are wearing a different shade of sunglasses. So if we are wearing the glasses of anger, everything that we see will support our original thought or belief that stirs up and fuels all of the anger. So it all comes down to our thoughts. And this is a simple worksheet that can help you identify what those thoughts are and how that is fueling your emotions. We talk all about our diet and how our food is fuel, but our emotions are also our fuel. Our emotions are what fuel our actions or inactions. So the first question is to identify the facts. And we will be tempted to include our opinions and some descriptor words. The goal here is to identify the facts which are void of opinions and descriptor words. And it's more simple. There's no good or bad. It's just neutral. All the time we are wearing a set of glasses. That is kind of the whole idea of the emotional vibration scale. We are always feeling an emotion. We are always thinking thoughts. And the goal is just to be aware of them. Once you are aware of them, that's when we can start making some real improvements in our lives. It's as if we are taking the glasses off, we're setting them down. And what would this situation be without our thoughts and without our mind trying to describe it, judge it, and have an opinion about it? And then the next question is, what are your thoughts about the facts, about your circumstance? What are you thinking? What are your beliefs? And you identify them. And then the next question is, when you think these things, how do you feel? Or you can even start there. You don't necessarily have to start at the top of this worksheet because like I said, sometimes it's hard to identify what we're thinking. Usually we have a lot easier time identifying how we feel. Are we feeling any anxiety? Are we feeling sad? Are we feeling rejected or resentment? If it's easier for you to first identify what you're feeling, then you can kind of move backwards on this worksheet and start investigating what those thoughts and beliefs are that are triggering these emotions. So like I said, our emotions are the fuel for our actions or lack of action. So that's how we can ultimately identify what is creating, what is the result that we are creating and how are we creating that with our minds? Because once we identify what we are creating with our minds, we have the option to create something different because we do have control over our thoughts. It's not always easy, but we absolutely do have a choice as far as what we wanna think and what we wanna believe. So I'm gonna give you an example of how to use this worksheet. There's two worksheets. This one is your unintentional one, and the second worksheet is to help you step into a more intentional thought and feeling. So here's a quick little example I'm gonna leave you with. It's a personal example, something that I, it has been the common theme for me, not anymore because I've done the work and I've worked through so many of these things that I had been carrying for decades. So one of my biggest struggles started in my teens and went all the way into my 20s and a little bit into my 30s was the how hard I would take it if I wasn't invited to something. <laughs> it was almost as if I was attracting these types of experiences in order for me to learn the lesson. So I kept on repeating this pattern over and over and over until I finally gained some self-awareness and was able to do the work and identify why I continue to attract these things and these constant feelings of rejection and resentment. So the if I were to identify a fact around this common theme, it would be, um, as one example would be, I wasn't invited to a party that was happening with 
one of my neighbors and I took it really hard. This is one experience out of many where I had taken it really hard and my instant thought was that, oh, they don't like us. And then once I realized that my thoughts were creating how I was feeling, which was rejected and resentment, the question then becomes, how do you behave when you think this thought? And I wrote, I close off to them and hide out a little bit. <laughs> I try, I'm not as outgoing, I'm not as friendly, and I don't make much of an effort to be as friendly anymore because I'm feeling these feelings and thinking these thoughts. And then what does that create? And what it, the cool thing about this is you can really look at this and how what you are creating is proof of your thoughts. So I was creating more disconnection with my neighbors. I probably came across a little bit snobby and uninterested, which could potentially result in not being very likable. <laughs> so I believe that they didn't like me, but I was actually behaving in a way where I didn't come across as a very likable, friendly person. So that is proof, uh, your behavior is proof of what you're thinking. Then there's a, an option to write what are some better feeling thoughts and this is where you can get creative and play around with some new thoughts or beliefs that resonate with you. It's not easy to just jump from one extreme to the other and that's not what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to write out a few other options, some alternative ways of looking at this that would stimulate better feeling emotions, kind of raise your vibration even just slightly. So some of the things I wrote was, when I have parties, I don't always invite everyone. It's not really possible. So I, in one aspect, I try to put myself in her shoes. The other thing I wrote was, well, they do like us. Last time I saw her, she was super friendly. So one thing you can always try to do is seek evidence of the opposite being true. And you might be able to find evidence of how your thoughts are not even true at all and how possibly the opposite is true. So that's one option. And then the other thing I wrote was last time they invited us, we didn't come. So that's me taking responsibility that perhaps I am not making it a priority to attend the things that we are actually invited to. And then when I don't get invited, I get I take it all personal and I get my feelings hurt. So it's funny when we sometimes jump to these conclusions which we and we don't really take any responsibility um, as far as you know maybe also I could take even more responsibility and recognize how maybe I don't make an effort I'm not the one inviting people over to barbecues and parties at my house so you can always look at it and try to take some responsibility and be super honest with yourself and then the last thing I wrote was um, were just questions because you can start to really investigate this even further and I wrote is it okay that she doesn't like me? Like, can I be okay with the fact that she might not like me? And do I like everyone? No, I don't like everyone. <laughs> So it all comes down to our thoughts and this is a simple worksheet that can help you identify what those thoughts are, which is ultimately what is creating your results in your reality right now. You can go ahead and download these two worksheets. You can make lots of copies of them or you can just use it as an example. You really only need a blank sheet of paper, but use this worksheet as an example of the process in order to identify the thoughts and the beliefs that you are currently holding. This is a video that I hope you will refer back to regularly because this is the method that I will be using moving forward in all of the coaching calls that I do and as I work to offer coaching around some of the things that you guys are submitting to me, sending in through email. I've, I've created a survey for all of you to uh, participate in this free coaching. So if you are currently experiencing something that you would like coaching on, just know that I have a survey available. I'll also put the link here below. You could submit as many questions as you want and it's all anonymous. Not even I know who's sending them in. I will be selecting different questions that you guys submit and I will try to create different videos or posts within the ER Shred group that will address the different things that you guys submit. So thank you guys so much. Hope you're doing well. See you soon.